shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. Son, focus on. Do you remember? 
remember Chao Sun Ming. Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swan. It can't be you. Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. For Hazuki Sensei.
Your son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand, but you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. must have known that Landi was coming. Thank you. 
Keep your balance. That's right. Hey! <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Hey! Yes, good. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits. Catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki Sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. That boy you fought with, what is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. That's right. Just as a parent is a parent, a friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Ryo. Parents often die before their children. Oh. That's the law of nature. Uh, uh. Friends will be there for you even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Mm. Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. 
Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Excuse me. What? No, I don't like talking to strangers. I see. Sumiya-san. Hi, Byo. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamagishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Excuse me? Yes? What's this name plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. 
I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Yamagashi san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. about those men in the black car what Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car no no I don't remember they might have been the ones who murdered my father your father please try to think all right man I'll try those guys in the black car what were they like 
I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk, like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. this. Get lost. That's it. Your history. Yeah. That's it. Damn, you're pretty tough. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. You don't mess with me again. Got it? All right, all right. Uh. Hey, are, are you okay? Can you get up? Son. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. 
It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the three blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda san. For the tailor, see Itoi san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The three blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda San, Itoi San, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Do you have a minute? Sorry, but, um, uh, if you're trying to pick me up, forget it. Find someone else. Um, yes. Itoi-san, do you know about the three blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu Sun. Liu Sun? That's right, over at the Barbers. I see. But Itoi Sun, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Nen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki son? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there.
Are you Dio, son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards? protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors. About Landy? I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Hi, Ryo. Akemi-san.
One game, 100 yen. Maybe I'll play it a bit. Hey, not too bad. All right. No, good. All right. This is the last art. All right. I want a free game! No good. So close. No good. Not bad. Last one. I'm getting it. The last game. I'm getting it. Not too bad. Yeah. So close. Last start. Hey, not too bad. I'm number one. Wow, man, you're pretty good. You won a prize. Here you go. Thanks. Excuse me. Yeah? Um... I'm sorry, I really need some time alone right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... I'm not in the mood to... Oh, sorry. Um... 
I want to be- Oh, sorry. Um... I'm not in the mood- Oh, sorry. Got a minute? Hey! The kid's saying something! Are you guys sailors? Mmm, could be. Hey kid! How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon, okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! Sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You're stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Son. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it.
Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you. Dried fish. I'll bet that kitten at the shrine might eat it. I'll take it to the kitten. Ah, milk. This could be food for that kitten. I should go to the shrine. Here, drink up. It's good. Seems you are hungry, huh? Yuo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, Ine-san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand.
I have to be sure not to waste this. Nozomi's voice. Well, aren't we brave? You must not know who we are, eh? I don't care who you think you are. You can't threaten little kids. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy! So we're gonna teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid. Hey, you're kind of cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from Don't me. Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. This will be fun. Nasomi. Ryo. What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you? Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Ryo. Nozomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Okay. wrong I'm so thirsty I want to drink but I don't have any change I'll buy you one what do you want you're really nice thanks what kind of drink do you recommend hmm let's see Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again. And try Taosan special. Yes. Please give my regards to Taosan. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you.
Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. Excuse me. Hey! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah, you know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. Excuse me? Huh? That guy with the tattoo on his arm? He came in here about four or five days ago, at around seven. Killing time until the bars opened. What an ass. I see. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I see that guy out in front of the shop sometimes. Always ragging my merchandise, like he'd ever buy anything. <laughs> When does this Charlie come around? He usually heads over this way after hitting the jacket shop. You know, man, guys like that almost always look around without buying anything. I see. Shinkichi-san. Hey, ya, Ryo! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? Who's he? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. And I hear he's got a tattoo on his arm. Oh, you mean... You know him? Nah, I just hear rumors. Word is he's a pretty nasty piece of work. Not the type you want to get involved with. I see. Shinkichi-san. Hey, ya, uh, Dio! About that guy, Charlie? Stay away from him, Dio. You know him? I hear he's real bad news. Hey, but I only know about the rumors, though. I see. I'll stop by again later. Anytime. Tom. Hi, Dio. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Do you know him? Charlie? He wears sunglasses, a black leather jacket, and has a tattoo on his arm. No, I don't know him, man. Really? Excuse me. May I help you? Do you have time now, Hattori-san? What is it? I'm looking for somebody. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? What, what's he look like? He wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. I hear he's got a tattoo on his arm. Mmm. I see lots of foreigners around here, but I haven't seen anyone like that. I see. Um. What is it? Know anybody who might know? Mmm. I don't know. I see. See you later.
Takumine san. Hey, Ryo. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? Never heard of him. He's got a tattoo on his arm. Nah, I don't think I know him. I see. Hey, Ryo. Are you hungry? I got some fresh loaves of bread, hot from the oven. No thanks. Maybe next time. Okay. Tamura-san. Hey, how are you doing? Do you know anyone called Charlie? Charlie? Is he a foreigner? I'm not sure. He wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I don't know anyone like that. But lots of dudes dress like that recently. Right. I get for you. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? What's he look like? He wears sunglasses and a leather jacket, and he's got a tattoo on his arm. Hmm, I don't think so. I see. Got a minute? I'm super busy right now. I'm sorry. I see. Son. Yes. Do you know a man named Charlie? Uh, Charlie? Charlie? I know Charlie Chaplin, but he's no longer with us. I assume you mean someone local? Yes, someone alive and from around here. He has a tattoo. Hmm, I have no idea. I see. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. Do you know a man named Charlie? Charlie? What does he look like? He wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I wouldn't know anyone of such dubious appearance. Yeah? About that Charlie guy? Was he somehow involved in your father's murder? I don't know yet. Is that so? I can't get in.
Excuse me. Huh? Me? Do you know a man called Charlie? I know him, but, uh, you got a beef with him? No, it's just... That punk. Is he hanging around here these days? Guess he didn't get the message last time. This Charlie? He probably shows up making trouble at night. If he causes trouble, you just mention my name. Your name? I haven't told you yet, Lieutenant. I will. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Do you know a guy called Charlie? Charlie? He wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I see. Son. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a... He ain't a... Son? Oh, what is it? Do you know a man named Charlie? Charlie? Is he a foreigner? I'm not certain. All I know is he wears a leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I don't know anyone like that. Is that so? Well, thank you. It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Okay, let's go.
That's enough. I love these. I should buy one. Hmm, I know this. I should try again. Hey! Maybe I should get another. Huh? Maybe I should get another. I know this. I should try again. This is cool. Maybe I should get another. I should try again. Huh? I should try again. This is cool! I should try again. Great! I should try again.
This is cool. I should try again. Hey, what's this? I should try again. I'll pass. Yamagashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? No, sorry. No, it's late. I see. Well, I'm not getting any younger. You may not get this opportunity again. Are you really sure? Well, okay. Please teach me. Well... There's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the Double Blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. My compliments. You mastered it with so little instruction. You are truly a Hazuki. Your father would be very proud of you. No, I'm still... But even so, that was amazing. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and 
If done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Yes. Please. Good. Training always pays off. Let us continue. Well, if you're not happy with your form, why not practice a bit more? No, I think I've got it. I see. Well, I'm not getting any younger. I'm glad that I could teach you while I'm still able. You're still very young. Work hard, and you will surpass even your father. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day.
I love these. Maybe just one. Hey, what's this? Maybe I should get another. Great! Maybe I should get another. Hey, what's this? I should try again. What? This again? I should try again. Hmm, I know this. I should try again. This is cool! Maybe I should get another. Huh? Maybe I should get another. Hey, what's this? Maybe I should get another. Huh? I should try again. I should try again. This again? Maybe I should get another. I know this. Maybe I should get another. What? This again? Maybe I should get another.
Maybe I should get another. I'll pass. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on. I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy! Show us what you got! So, do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've got to believe me! Sorry, man. We're closed. A guy named Charlie gets his tattoos here, right? Never heard of him. That's funny. He's been bragging about your work. I want to ask him something in person. That's so. Hey, man. Why don't you lose the jacket? What? Easy, man. I just figured you've got perfect skin for my work. Nice color. No sag. I would love to get the chance to work on someone fresh for a change. I'm sick and tired of those cheap, greasy punks. No, I'm not into tattoos. I want to know about Charlie. Hey, let me work on you, man. I won't charge you nothing. Come on. I said no. 
Oh, man. Too bad. You know Charlie, don't you? Come on back tomorrow. Is he coming in tomorrow? He might come. Look, I'm closed. Get out. Are you cold? Want some food? You don't have to gulp it down. There's nothing unusual about this. There's nothing unusual about this.
I should be grateful. Careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. Here, eat it. It's tasty. You don't have to gulp it down. May I help you? Yes. Come again, yo. Yo, may I help you? Yes. Ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Yo, 
Hello, may I help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Yo, may I help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Yo, may I help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Yo, may I help you? Yes. Draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. QTE title. One game, 100 yen. Come on, kid! I should try it once.
Excite QTE. One play, 100 yen. I'll try it once. Nah, it's easy.
Yo, may I help you? This. Draw a ticket, please. I won. Take your pick. Okay, this one. Sure, there you go. Come again, y'all. It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Okay, let's go.
Give me something tough, so no one will mess with me. Yeah, <laughs> like that schoolboy. Shut up! He kicked your butt too, that schoolboy. Huh? <laughs> it's him! Uh, uh, oh, I'm no. out of here! Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. None of your business. Just tell me. Okay, let me go. I'll tell you. I'll arrange for you to meet some of them. Okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at three. Wait at the arcade. I have your word. Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show. Hi, Ryo. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation. But you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet. But if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later.
It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Let's get sweaty. Hi, Kota. Hi there. Going out to play? Yeah. Is that right? Take care. Okay. Bye. Here, eat it. It's tasty. I think she likes this food. Bet that's her favorite. Okay then, I'll bring more later. Me too. can't reach it. What's this?
It's just a cockroach.
Sorry guys, it's alright Hurley. Uh, go with mine. H P L C D A D. That is a long one, so Hurley, go, let's think. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, uh, uh, Vicky Chan. How is it going? What's going on in life? What are we streaming today? In fact, let's give you a shout out and I'll find out. 